guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a clean or a massive bit of a clean. I'm going to be cleaning my kit, deep cleaning my brushes. I'm also going to give you some tips on how to clean palettes and stuff like that. So if you are interested in this and want to know how you can clean your stuff, then please keep watching. <laughs> I'm just going to be starting off by cleaning these brushes with IsoClean. I've never figured out that it's IsoClean or not IsoClean, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm using IsoClean and the little tray for cleaning my brushes. And I'm going to be doing it on this towel. This towel is getting really, really minging now. It is completely clean. I wash it all the time. Uh, but it's definitely time for a new one just because it's stained so bad. So I'm just going to be touch cleaning these ones. And then later on, I've got some dirty brushes here that are face brushes. So I'm going to be deep cleaning these. I deep clean my brushes once a week just to make sure that everything is super clean and stuff. So I'm also going to be cleaning all of these ones too. So I will show you how to do that afterwards. So with this brush cleaner, I'm just going to pour it into here. I don't need to pour too much because I don't have that many brushes. I normally just do my face brushes with this as well. And I'm just tapping it in and rubbing it on. Now, because this is a white brush, it stains so bad, but it is actually clean. I've been dreaming all night, bringing me some inspiration. Never meant to love no one, but baby. I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't want to waste no time without you ever brightening up my days. Never meant to fall. So that is those brushes clean and I'm now going to take you on to the deep cleaning. To clean my brushes I'm using this fairy liquid. Now this is the antibacterial one. Washing your brushes with normal washing up liquid won't do the same as the fairy liquid. The fairy liquid is definitely the best. It is my favourite for deep cleaning unless I've got like one of those soap things. Oh. My hand's so shaky. This is definitely the best one to use, in my opinion. So what I'm doing is I'm basically wetting the bristles, applying some of this in it, rubbing it in, and making sure that it's washed, it's all washed out. That's really important because if it's not all washed out, your brushes just won't dry and they'll be all bubbly and it's just horrible. So you need to make sure that they, it really is washed completely through. Oh, wow. because I don't want you to get bored having to watch me clean these brushes for ages. So I've just moved everything off my desk, but this is glass, so I'm actually going to pick this up and put it onto my bed because I want to clean both sides of it and then I also want to clean underneath it. So now that the glass is on my bed, I'm going to first clean it with the IsoClean Surface Cleaner. I think this is Biocidical. Biocidical surface cleaner. This is the first time I've actually used it. I only just got it in the post the other day. So I'm super excited to try that. Just whilst I make sure that that's dry, I'm going to do it my desk also. I'm also going to do my mirror. You deserves me. You're all I think about sometimes. But baby. And I'm gonna do it the mirror on here as well because this is so grubby. I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you So I've just flipped it over and I'm now gonna do the other side. I'm gonna give this a few seconds to dry and then I'm gonna flip it over again and use my glass and window cleaner. And I'll actually I'm actually gonna use this on my mirror the now while that dries. So I've just placed this back on and I'm going to put the glass cleaner on it now. Oh, 
So I'm now on to palette cleaning. First of all, I'll be using this surface cleaner on all of the tops and the backs and around the sides of these palettes, but I don't think I really need to show you that. And I'm also gonna show you how to properly clean your palettes. It doesn't really quite do it justice how dirty this palette is, uh, but I'll show you one of the best ways to clean them. So I'm just gonna be using this little tray again and an antibacterial wipe. And I'm just putting this over. So you've got a little thing like this. Also, I'm going to give it a spray with the IsoClean brush cleaner. So that's really nice and soaked. And then I'm going to go over the palette like this. And this just means that you don't get any mess in any of the pans. Because this is a flat surface, it won't go in anything. And then that'll be so much cleaner makes such a difference. So I'm also going to go and do the tops with this as well. You wouldn't need to use a pan for that, you could just use the wipe on its own. And I'm then going in with my glass cleaner, just to make sure that mirror is nice and shiny. <laughs> and to finish off, I'm getting the spray bottle of IsoClean again and spraying over the pans and that's gonna kill any bacteria that you have in, in the actual eyeshadows. So I'm gonna do this with all of my eyeshadow palettes so they're all nice and super clean. <laughs> onto my kit. What I'm going to be using is just the surface cleaner and a little wipe thing and I'm just going to scrub everything down all the way around this kit and I'll be paying most of my attention to like handles, anything that you hold on to and the clips down the side. Bring me some inspiration Never meant to love no one actually into my kit and I'm going to be cleaning everything in it. Again, a lot of the stuff that um, that is in here I've already cleaned, like foundations that aren't my colour, foundations I don't use uh, on myself anyway, and a lot of the concealers I have already cleaned, so it's not going to take too long to do it. But yeah, I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I'm going to do for this as well. I'm mostly going to be using these wipes on stuff like bases and again foundations and stuff like that. And also any powder products I will be spraying down with this cleaner. Now I, off I do this very often, after every single client I have in I always spray down every powder that I have. But because it's just been me, I haven't really been bothered in. But obviously when we start back up, I'll be spraying it right after myself every time as well. <laughs> Everything is sanitised. I'm doing all this and I bet you anything won't be back to work for actual ages. I always keep my kit clean when I'm working but because I haven't been working I've not been doing as much. I'm now just going to do the exact same thing with my wipes and do all of my lipsticks. I'm just doing the actual casing of my lipsticks or like the packaging, the tube, whatever. I'm just doing that of my lipsticks and stuff like that because the insides are clean. I always apply lipstick onto an applicator before putting it on myself or on other people. So these are all very clean inside. Now I know that I keep my stuff super clean, but I'm still impressed that there's like nothing on here and I've not cleaned my lipsticks in like two months. That is now everything clean in my kit. This is something I'm going to be keeping up in the next weeks or months or years until we can get back. Um, purely because I know that, well hopefully it's going to be around the corner, so 
I'm making sure that everything's super sanitized after I use it. And I just want to come on and have a quick conversation about the product. So I just want to say that now that I am an affiliate with them, so if you do use my code, then I get commission off of that. If that is something you're uncomfortable with, then feel free, you don't need to use it, but it'll get your money off if you do want these products. So, Iso Clean Brush Cleaner, everyone knows how much I love this. It comes in a little tip in thing, so you can pour it into the tray, or you can get the spray bottle. I use this one more because I just prefer having the little tray to clean stuff with because it's so much easier. It does use a little bit more of the product, but you're going to clean your brushes a lot better. But I use this all the time to spray my products. So I spray all my powders and stuff with this, and that's just going to make sure that it kills all the bacteria. This is the surface cleaner. This is the first time I've used it today. I like the wee spray bottle, it's nice. So it doesn't have a scent at all. It's not strong, whereas the brush cleaners are really strong. You can definitely smell the alcohol off them, but this doesn't have a scent whatsoever. Wow, my mirror looks so clean. This is just your average surface cleaner, like you don't need to get the ice clean one if you don't want to, it does the exact same thing. Something else that I also bought is the moisturising hand sanitizer. Now this is also unscented. It has a little bit of a smell of aloe vera because that's the moisturising aspect that's in it. So it's just a little hand gel. It evaporates quite quickly still and it's just good because it's not as harsh on your skin. Definitely still smells like um, your average kind of hand gel. It's not quite as strong I find. It does leave a little bit of a sticky feeling but after a few minutes it does go away. It does completely sink into your skin. And it's really good because I have eczema on the back of my hand. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But my hand is always dry. Um, only this hand for some reason. Only my right hand. But this has definitely saved me because the other hand sanitizers just absolutely ruined my skin. Isoclean have also recently came out with new products. So they have mascara ones. And these are biodegradable. Which is something that I am really passionate about. Um, I hate plastic use, I hate anything that's bad for the environment. I have biodegradable bin bags and everything, like it's something that I, I'm really passionate about. I also donate to Greenpeace every month. So them coming out with the biodegradable mascara ones was so exciting for me. They also have disposable lip applicators. So these are a wee bit like your gloss ones, I've not actually opened them yet. Um, this is what they look like. These are also the mascara ones. Now with, well, the, the, person who doesn't care, I with the lipstick applicators you can obviously use a brush. I've been using a brush for ages but I actually bought just plastic ones of these recently because I find that if you're applying lip gloss with a brush it really clunks it up and it's so hard to get out of your brushes. So I bought these anyway and then when I found that they have biodegradable ones I was really excited about that. They also have biodegradable eyeliner brushes. I didn't get them because I'm just happy using my brushes and I make sure that they're super sanitised in between. And they also have these bamboo, I think they're bamboo, well they're biodegradable anyway and they are cotton buds and they come to a little point as well which I find is super good for makeup application because I use Vaseline to cut the crease and stuff and having a pointed cotton bud is really good for getting it off. So if you would like to purchase any of these products you can use my code LisaChandler32110 for 10% off. I can't stress enough how much I love these products, especially the brush cleaner. Honestly, it changed my life, will never go to another brush cleaner ever. So good. So thanks so much for watching this video. I know it wasn't exactly, it wasn't too makeup related, but I think it's something that's really important when we're coming up to the end of hopefully the end of this pandemic is to just show that people are cleaning their kits properly, cleaning their brushes, because it is something that I don't think is actually stressed enough in this industry. If you haven't seen my last video, please go check it out. I did a little pre-mark haul. I will leave that in the top right hand corner and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye 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 bye. I don't know if I